Welcome to an Exos Boy tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. I'm going to be posting a list of tweaks that I'm doing on my WordPress blog. That's exosplite.wordpress.com. This list will be available there, so you can easily copy and paste from it. So first thing I'm going to do is in my browser type about config. And in this list here, I'm going to be editing certain things. First, I'm going to be making a new boolean. And in it, I'm going to be pasting config.trim on minimize. Then once that's in, I'm going to hit OK and set this to true. Now we're going to make the cache smaller. So browse for browser session history dot max underscore total underscore views. And when you find it, set it to zero. To optimize the connection, which I'm sure most people with Firefox have done before, find network.http pipelining and set it to true. Next, find the proxy pipelining and set that to true as well. Finally, find pipelining max requests and set this to We'll say 32. Don't set this too high or you might get kicked off some websites because they might think you're attacking it with requests. So 32 is enough. Now we're going to make a new integer, integer, and it's going to be called browser cache memory capacity. And we're going to set a value for it. Now, if you have a lot of RAM, I would suggest you go with uh, 65,000, which would be 64 megabytes. But if you don't have a lot, you can just go with 16,384. So I'll just set it in the middle. Alright, so now we can restart Firefox. And that should be enough with the tweaks here. Alright, so now for the aesthetics and the add-ons. What I like to do is hide this bookmark toolbar, view the icons as small. I like to also get the Google toolbar, and there's a few add-ons I like to get. And those add-ons are faster fox, Add block plus plus the filter set G updater, no script, cookie jar, download them all, McAfee site advisor and tiny menu, and the NOIA skin. I'll show you what it's like after I've applied and installed all of these add-ons and skins. All right, so once you have all of your downloads done, you can select your theme and then restart Firefox. Once it restarts, we can do a little cleaning up here. I like to merge my Google toolbar into my uh, my main browser toolbar. And I don't really use any of these. I use the spell check occasionally. But that's really it. So we can then pretty much hide this bar here. So this is your tiny menu. So now you really have more room for viewing and less room here is taken up by your bars. So you have your McAfee site advisor. It'll rate sites so if you're not sure about them when you Google search you can see what they uh, what they think of the site so if it's red or yellow you wouldn't want to go there show you. You also have your uh, 
faster box here, which optimizes as well. And it gives you a nice timer. Your it's not uh sorry, cookie jar, it's called cookie safe. Uh, you can clear your cookies at any time. So I'm also going to show you here about your NoScript, which is one of the most helpful add-ons. It really keeps you safe from cross scripts. So you have to allow a lot of things, but it's really worth it. It might be annoying for the first hour, but if you uh, get this message, you can say allow mozilla.com. And there it is. It allows all their scripts. But if it's an untrusted site, this could stop a download, and it could really save you. So if you don't like the uh, nagging screen, you can turn that off in the options under notifications, and you can say don't show a message. So now you don't have to see the message anymore. I'm also going to show you about the download them all add-on, which is a download optimizer. So when you find a download link, you can right click it and save link with the one click. Now this will download right here in a little window. You can minimize it. And when it's finished, you can just close the window. It optimizes your downloads, and you can download more than one link, pause them. Keeps it out of your way, and I like that. And that's pretty much all. One thing that you haven't seen is ads because of the Adblock Plus and the Filter Set G Updater. So it improves your browsing because you don't have to load these ads. So that's pretty much everything here. I hope I touched on anything you would want to know about. I'll be talking about Firefox extensions more in the future. And another thing before I go, what I usually do, and this is just me, I like to clear everything when I exit. To show you how to do that, you go to your options menu, and under privacy, always clear my private data when I close Firefox. But I have it asked me before, and I have it clear everything except for my saved passwords. Click OK. So this is what will happen. Then I'll say, you want to clear everything? So I say, yeah. So my browser history, my cache, my cookies, and they're all gone. So that just helps keep it nice and clean. I don't have to clear my saved passwords, obviously. So that's pretty much everything. And like I said, this will be my WordPress, so look for it if you want to copy some things from it. This has been an Exosploit tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe. And if you found this tutorial useful to you, please comment and rate it. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.